In today's episode of The String Report, we are covering the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro launch monitor. It's both affordable and very effective. We're gonna test it here indoors with Michael Geiger and show you guys everything you need to know about this awesome product. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole, the Second Swing Golf, joined today by Michael Geiger here inside the tour van at Minnetonka. And today we've got a new device here, a Rapsodo MLM2 Pro launch monitor and kind of a funky looking thing here, Michael, but um, it's both affordable and very effective. And today we're gonna kind of show you exactly how effective it is and why it can be really beneficial for you, the golfer, especially here in Minnesota, as we talk about all these times with these devices, Michael, um, in the winter months when you can't go outside and play golf. Um, it's really nice to have something that you can build and set up at home and something as cheap as this. I'm really fascinated by kind of the rise in launch monitor technology. I think it, it kind of reminds me of the way that what happened to televisions in the 2000s where they mm -hmm. started out so big and bulky and expensive right. and they somehow got better and less expensive to a, to a great extent. And I think you're seeing that with, with launch monitors. You know, you don't have to get a big $20,000 unit anymore. You can get these items like the Rapsodo, which are gonna cost you less than $1,000. They're still certainly expensive. These aren't mm -hmm. super cheap products, but the quality is rapidly increasing while the price is still somewhat affordable. Yeah. yeah, so the nice thing about this, as with a lot of these devices now, is they're both compatible indoors and outdoors. So that's the, one of the cool things about this item is you can take it up, set it up inside a, a home setup that you might have. Then also when it is nice outside and you have the summer months around here anyway, you can take it out to their driving range with you and get all the necessary um, data metrics that you're looking for, which by the way, there are 13 of here mm -hmm. in terms of you know carry, total, uh, club speed, ball speed, spin rate, um, right. launch angle, land, I mean, things that um, you'd find here in, with a TrackMan in our fitting base here at Second Swing, you'll find on the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. Um, additionally, you have camera functions here that help capture your swing. So, you know, if you have the mobile app like I have here and you're maybe in a practice session, you can replay your swing as well as the camera sits directly behind you looking towards your target. You can see that down the line swing, which I know is gonna be really helpful for maybe instructors out there as well. As someone with 35 swing videos on my phone, this <laughs> is actually very helpful. Yeah. So that is a key feature. And then uh, one thing we should also comment on here too is the golf balls. So um, for indoor purposes, for sure, um, one thing that is really helpful to gain the accurate data here, um, they actually include these ChromeSoft X golf balls from Callaway with the dots on there that indicate and help the camera kind of track the ball a little bit. So capture that spin data, um, capture the metrics that you're looking for. So um, it's been really helpful as we've done some maybe very initial testing here before actually pushing record. Mm -hmm. And we've seen those numbers are very, very accurate. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how this performs uh, under the bright lights and the, the prime time vibe of right. a second swing two van fitting. Exactly. Bed. So uh, a couple other features that I just want to hit on before we really test and kind of, well, our, our test isn't going to be super scientific. We're going to hit a few wedges. We're going to hit a few seven irons, hit a few drivers, and maybe throw in some comparisons to TrackMan. The only issue being is that we have the RCT balls of TrackMan, which don't quite work indoors with the Rapsodo as well and vice versa with these balls versus the TrackMan. So there might be some subtle differences there. But um, with the Rapsodo, there are some combines that you can do on the device and you can also play golf courses as well. So you have all these things in addition to uh, the practice sessions that you can host for yourself, gather a bunch of data, um, you know, and, and learn a lot about your game that way. So, mm -hmm. um, all right, so I think now we're about ready. So we've got wedges, well, a wedge, we've got a seven iron and we've got a driver. We're just gonna hit a few shots, talk about the data, and then actually at the end, we're gonna come back and I'll show you all the information on here through the session recap that they have for you. So are you ready to do that? Let's do it. All right, so Michael, um, first things first, let's create a practice session here on the app. So um, I'm gonna dive into that. And actually the cool thing is once you've, you know, you've got your device and you've got it, the device registered and everything, you've got the mobile app downloaded on your, on your phone, uh, you get actually a free year of their premium subscription, which um, is so kind of a nice little bonus on top of um, already, you know, purchasing the device at a relatively affordable price relative to what's out there on the market. So um, I'm gonna click practice here on the app. And right away, there is some options there. So in the mode, for example, range or net, obviously if we're outside, you can click range, but we're inside, so net. We've got the Callaway RPT balls, and I'm gonna set it to the current elevation in here, you know, in Minnesota, which is just under a thousand feet. Um, and so from there, we'll get some numbers. And I've also um, imp implemented the clubs that we're gonna be testing today mm -hmm. as well, which 
if you have this device at home, you can, you know, um, I guess input all of the clubs that are in your bag, uh, you know, the model, the make, all of that stuff. You can get as far as the length, the loft, the specs on there too. But for the case of this, I've just got the sand wedge, the seven iron and the driver that we're gonna test today. We'll start with the wedge here. And I've got the device set up here um, right behind Michael, as you can see on my screen, actually he's looking up at me, uh -huh. but I'm looking at Michael through down by the device. Um, our line's a little bit crooked here. I'm gonna just quick adjust. See, I straightened it out a little bit there, perfect. And now we're ready to hit some golf shots here. So um, you can fire away here Let's whenever, Michael, yeah. Okay. So, and right there you notice on my, on the phone here that it promptly throws three numbers up on the screen and then I get to rewatch Michael's swing, which is really cool. So right there you had a carry of 110 yards, spin rate just over 10,000 RPM and your ball speed was 87.4. Okay. Which to me, those seem like pretty darn good numbers with a wedge, right? That's about what I'd hit my 56. Um, and then I also wanted to point out too, so there's a couple different views on this. So you can go to your 2D here in the bottom right corner and it shows the dispersion kind of um, cone, if you will. Mm -hmm. And then you can also just go straight to your three numbers that you choose to kind of focus on. And then you can actually edit those metrics as well here. If you click on here on the bottom left corner and click change metrics, and you can highlight your three of the 16 available metrics that you want to focus on. So for now we've got carry, we've got ball speed, and we've got spin rate, but obviously there's side carry, club speed, smash factor, launch angle, descent angle, etc. So. How'd that one feel? Pretty comparable. Okay. Should be maybe 108-ish carry is what I would guess. Yeah. It's got you at 102, well, 101.2 carry. Okay. Did you hit it maybe a tiny bit fat? Yes. A little bit? Okay, I was thinking so because, the because of the spin going down to 8,600, which makes sense um, uh, based on the way that that ball flew a little bit. But um, all right, do we want to move over to the seven iron here? We'll Let's just do it. go from that. So we've got the seven iron picked here. This is a P7MC, by the way. Um, beautiful looking club. But um, so what I kind of want to do here then, let's actually let's go this way. Seven iron numbers roughly for you. Now granted, you have a different club and make and sure. model and stuff. So um, let's start with that. Uh, I'd say the carry is going to be in the 178 range, somewhere between 175 and 180, depending okay. on the day. Um, carry 178, total a little above 180. Okay. Sure, and that's kind of when, when you hit those good. Yeah, I think ball speeds, you know, somewhere between 120, 125. Okay. okay. Sounded pretty darn good. Did you smoke that one? I'm solid. Yeah, this is so these are this is good numbers right here. So 182.6 on the carry. Okay. And the spin was 68.06. That's and right your ball about. speed is 127. So that's a pretty darn good swing. I like how promptly the device will like hear us, like it'll, you'll basically be on your downswing and it'll all of a sudden flash the, the different screen of all the numbers on yeah. that one. So was that one to miss hit a little yes, bit? Yes, very yeah. much so. I saw the one handed sw follow through on the, on the replay of the video. So uh, 145 on the carry, 6,200 on the spin, 104 ball speed. That sounds about and, right. Um, I, just for fun on this one now, I'm gonna pull up the Trackman numbers after the shot. Okay. And we'll see how close these are. Let's because, do it. Um, curious about that here sounded like a solid strike maybe a little bit of the okay. face open action okay okay so all right this is this is good this is really good so this shot i have got on here a carry of 170.9 you got 170.5 on track man the spin rate of 7284 here so we're about we're 14 rpm off and the ball speed I registered here was slightly different, 121.2 versus 123. But mm -hmm. in terms of the spin and the carry, we were just fractionally off right. with that seven iron swing. Um, that's pretty darn good, actually. To I mean, again, this is, if you want to talk about cost difference here between the MLM2 Pro and the TrackMan, sure. we're going to get into some lofty numbers. But um, all right, so want to try driver here? Let's do it. Let's take a few driver swings and then well kind of at the end I'll show Michael everything that there is to take a take from this here. So
Interesting. So a little bit high on the face there, yes. which makes sense because we did get a low spin number of 1300, but a carry of 267. And uh, yeah, actually on this screen over here, I know it's not recorded on uh, our devices here, but we can see the impact location. We don't need high to show face, that. So. We don't need to show No, that. we don't need to show. But hey, I mean, the impact location is not bad on top of the face there. You get some rollout with that one. All right, that sounded like a better, maybe a more solid <laughs> strike. <laughs> yep. I'm not sure it's in the fairway, but. Well, that's okay. All right, so for the last swing, I thought we'd go back to the Trackman trick of, I mean, it worked well with the seven iron. The numbers were very close. Let's so we'll try it again here. We'll take a driver. I'm sure the, you know, there's a slightly more room for error, I guess, and that you're hitting the ball almost 300 yards. There's probably, the, the differences might be a tiny bit larger if there are any, but mm -hmm. I'm curious to see how well it stacks up with driver now. Because you would think this would be the one where maybe there, there's most quote unquote error here. You would think. Ooh, good poke. Good poke. Okay, this is this is good. Okay, this is really good. So um, it was a little bit of a knuckler, but it's very straight. Look at your swing, by the way. Look at the zero zero <laughs> zero 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 zero. That is a golf swing, folks. <laughs> zero point zero club path. Zero point zero face angle. Zero point zero face to path. Uh, it doesn't really get any better than that, but um, okay. So the spin rate measured by Rapsodo was one, or excuse me, 1573. So we're in the, in the ballpark, right? Yep. And again, this is italicized here and not an RCT ball that we're using for TrackMan. Uh, we're using the ball for Rapsodo. So if, perhaps if the RCT ball is used, these might be even a little closer, but mm -hmm. ball speed was 166.2 on the Rapsodo and the carry was 282.6. And if you pull up the map here, you'll kind of see a similar uh, trail, if you will, on the ball flight. So kind of a, that low piercer, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, but hey, what a swing to end on, Michael. Oh my <laughs> goodness. That's, I, I don't think I've, it's been a long time, if ever, if I've ever seen a 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0 0.0. So, um, all right, now what I kind of want to, we're gonna go back in, look at the session a little bit yep. more and just kind of show the additional features here and, um, We'll give the uh, people a recap here as well. All right. All right, so Michael, I've got the app pulled up here. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I'm using the camera view of the device, which right now actually has our, our camera guy on there and sort of where you were hitting. Um, and if I go over here, so you can kind of have three different screens up while you're swinging, right? You can have this one here, which uh, you know showcases you swinging, has the little bit, the, the line of target, if you will. And then actually at any time you can click this button and just rewatch the last swing. So there's your last swing. There's the numbers on TrackMan mm -hmm. being pulled up. And, uh, and then over here you can either have the 2D, which is just the top view of the result of the swing, mm -hmm. or on the far right here, you can just have your three numbers pull up right away. All right, now if I go through, I'm gonna leave the session for now, okay? And then I'm gonna go to my home, look at this session here where we hit eight, we hit eight shots that registered on wrap so if you had a couple wedges we had some seven irons we had some drivers and you could see you got all the numbers here mm -hmm. that you're really the main the main ones that you're looking for you got your launch angle you got your club speed your ball speed your carry distance and again you can um i guess prioritize the the metrics that you sure. want there as well now if you were to hit a lot of numbers in a session you're able to go to the insights report and now you need six shots per club to do that but you get a ton of information about your swing there as well mm -hmm. all the metrics that you can need you can also here add some notes to your session. Right. You say on this last one, Michael had 0, 0.0 path, face angle, face angle and face to path on that last swing. I can add that all right here. Just like that. Now it's in the future when I look back that we remember the, the iconic Michael Geiger swing. Uh, I'm, so. I'm gonna probably have that printed and be shellacked <laughs> on my wall. Um, and then lastly here, I'll show you the satellite view. So again, if you were to put together a, um, you know, an extensive range session here, you could have this whole map of all your swings. You could go from sand wedge to all three your irons up to driver and have mm -hmm. a whole map of where you're going. You can see where your clubs might be missing more often than not. Right. And all of that information is included with this premium package here on the Rapsodo. So, um, again, and there's obviously much more you can do here. If I go back to the homepage here and then go play. There's combines you can do, you can set up 
um, your targets out there. You can do a driving one. There's so many things that you can do mm -hmm. with the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro in the mobile app here. Uh, and then of course, you can build up a profile for yourself. And then in here is obviously where I added the clubs and right. you can go through the whole bag. So uh, I know I just threw a lot at you there, Michael, but I mean, what are your thoughts on everything you just kind of saw there? So impressed. I think the great thing about a product like this and really every launch monitor is there's really two main appeals. There's the the fun, just mm -hmm. the pure, the simulation, yeah. the combine, the, you know, you can play games of trying to zero out your path or yeah. trying to hit hundred, you know, ball speed. And then there's the actual, there's the accuracy that it brings that you can, if you're truly wanting to to really grind on your swing and, and dial in your distances and your you know your game, it's good enough for that too. Mm -hmm. So whether you're buying this thing for fun, for for practice, for some combination, it really has you covered from every angle. Yeah. So I guess the one question we always ask in these swing reports, right at the end, is who's it for? And we talked about it a little bit, mm -hmm. um, and you kind of even just touched on it in your in your own little uh, soliloquy there, if you will. But um, what type of golfer or what players out there watching this is this going to be best suited for? Well, I think. In theory, anyone. I, I think, a, a, you know, someone investing, you know, while this is sort of a budget product for the launch monitor world, it's still, you know, a significant investment. So this is going to be an avid player. This is someone who really cares about their game. Um, I think this is really going to appeal to people like us in the north uh, yeah. in the, the long winter months. You know, golf is not, uh, we have kind of a short season up here, so this is a huge benefit. Um, but really, you know, probably your avid player, but, you know, handicap wise, it really doesn't matter. Yeah. Right, I know. There was a, a famous two characters on a TV show once that said winter is coming. And uh, we are at that point in the year now where winter is coming. And that's where a device like this can really help you mm -hmm. improve your game. So, uh, yeah, like you said, any golfer that wants to get better and doesn't want to put the clubs away for a few months in the winter months, or perhaps you just want a, an extra level of detail and preparation during your range sessions. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're in a golf climate where you can play all year round. I would love to be uh, in the same spot as you. but. You can take this out to the course, get all the information that you need. Yeah, basically, look out your window right now. If you see leaves falling, basically buy this product. Yeah, that would yeah. be my advice. That's, that's the recommendation. So the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro launch monitor, available at Second Swing. It's going to help you a ton with your game. We saw it today, too. The numbers are very accurate, and we have a TrackMan in here. Um, for a $700 price uh, and its original price, that's pretty darn good. So uh, go to secondspeed.com, or yours. Um, it's going to really help you with your game. Michael, thank you for spending the time with us today. You got it.